So, you're supposed to do standards-based grading, right? But your school wants you to give an A, B, or C grade. So what's a teacher supposed to do? Stick around to find out. Today I am going to show you how to turn standards-based grades into traditional grades using Google Sheets. This is just a basic setup. I'm sure you can add more details, but this will get you up and running quickly. So the first thing we need to do is to go over the information that you see here on the screen so you can make sure you know exactly what's going on. So we have student name in column A, column B, student emails, C, average points, and D, letter grades. Underneath our student name title, we have our three students listed, and under our students, we have our grade scale. On this side over here, we have the standards that are being assessed across the top. We have the max score for each standard going across right underneath. We're using a four-point rubric for each of the standards being assessed. And then these other numbers are the scores that the students actually scored on their assessments for the corresponding standards. So what we need to do first in order to see some magic happen is we need to get an average score for each student and uh, on the standards that they were assessed on. Now we're going to do a very easy formula and all formulas in Google Sheets start out with an equal sign. So there's our equal sign. And now we're going to do an average. So we just spell out the word average, A-V-E-R-A-G-E. -E. Then you're going to open parentheses. And then it's asking you for value 1 right here. Well, our first value is going to come from E3 right here. So you just have to click on it. Now we're going to put a colon. And then we're going to put Z3. And then we close our parentheses. Now I put Z3 in there for a really good reason because as you add on more assessments or assignments later on, the formula will go ahead and automatically calculate the new average points. So if you have more than uh, Z3, then you'll have to add on, you'll have to make your range a little bit larger for however many assignments you have or assessments you have. So now we click the return or enter button and we can see that student one has an average of 2.8 points on the standards that were being assessed. Now we go back up to there and we hover right over that square until we see the crosshairs. We click and drag down and it automatically copies the formula to the corresponding squares or cells. Now you're going to want to make sure you drag your uh, formula down all the way to the bottom of your roster, not just those first three. I just have three students in my class for now, so that's why I only did those first three cells. Now we want to figure out what our letter grade is so we can transfer our standards-based grade into a traditional score. And this formula that we're going to use next is a little bit trickier but it's not hard at all like I said a few minutes ago in Google Sheets all formulas start out with an equal sign so we hit our equal sign and then we're going to type VLOOKUP V -L -O -O -K -U -P. and then again we open parentheses and you can see here that's highlighted the word search key well, the search key is where it's going to be looking for the value uh, that it's going to give the grade for. So you click on your search key right there, then you give a comma, and then the next thing that's highlighted is range. Now the range is over here in our table where our grades are and our grade scale. Now you got to make sure that you highlight both columns. That's uh, one mistake that I had made earlier and I figured out what I was doing wrong. So you got to highlight both columns, then you put your comma, 
And then the next one you can see here is index. It's highlighted for you. Now we're going to be indexing column two right here because we want the formula to tell us what the traditional grade is. So we're going to put in the number two and then a comma. And now we're going to type in the word true. T-R-U-E. And we're going to close our parentheses. Now what that true does is if we come back over here to our scale and say we have a grade or an average score of 1.3 which is right in between the CD level. The word true there lets the formula know that it is not at the 1.6 level and automatically kicks it back down to the lower level. So let's just hit our enter key and we can see that student 1 has a B for their score. Now we go back up there, hover over that little square like we did before, and click and drag down, and it will automatically calculate the traditional score that most of us need for our grade cards. One handy thing that I haven't mentioned yet was right here on the right of column D, you can see that thicker line that is a freeze line and what that allows you to do is it allows you to put in a lot more assignments and then as you scroll the assignments kinda of like hide underneath those first four columns so you can still see your student names as you're adding in more assessments and more assignments Presto Changeo you just changed your standard base grades into fair and accurate traditional grades now you may have noticed that we didn't do anything with the student email column and that's a special reason because next I'm going to show you how to use the gradebook you just made along with Google Sites and you're going to be able to allow your students and parents to look up their current grade if you have learned something from this video I would ask that you please like comment and share this is where the real learning takes place also, if you would like to get more content from me, you can visit my blog at MrPhysicalEducation.com. The link is in the description. You can also get my links to my social pages at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Remember, physical education, where mind and body come together. I know you want to subscribe to my blog. I dare you. Come on, just push on the button. What are you, chicken? McFly? You yellow?